it seems like there is no limit to how many issues could be causing your check engine light to come on. And a faulty mass airflow sensor or MAF is certainly on that list. What is a mass airflow MAF, sensor? Your engine runs on a mixture of fuel and air, and the device that reads the amount of air coming into the engine is called the MAF, or mass airflow sensor, which is located between the air filter and the intake manifold. This information is important to the function of your vehicle's engine because it helps calculate the amount of fuel necessary for the engine to maintain the perfect balance of fuel and air. When the MAF is faulty or it malfunctions, it makes it difficult or impossible for the engine control module or ECM to calculate how much fuel to inject into the engine, which can cause a whole bunch of issues with how your car functions. So, what are the symptoms of a faulty mass airflow sensor? Number 1. Check Engine Light The most common symptom of a MAF failure is a check engine light. Since this symptom could point to a slew of other causes, if your check engine light makes an appearance, you should probably get it checked out anyway. Number 2. Jerking or Hesitating During Acceleration If you notice a lag when trying to accelerate or your car jerks forward, a faulty MAF sensor could be to blame. This is because your powertrain control module PCM, is having a hard time deciphering how much fuel to inject, causing a lag or overestimation that leads to a less than smooth ride. Number 3. Hard start or engine misfire. Is your engine having trouble starting or turning over? This could be due to a faulty MAF sensor, in this instance, your car is running lean, which means that your PCM is pumping too much air and not enough fuel for the engine to start and run normally. Number 4. Rough idling. If your car is exhibiting a lack of power or stalling a lot, it could be caused by the MAF sensor failing. Number 5. Poor fuel economy. If you notice your car isn't getting the gas mileage it should or you're filling up your fuel tank more often, it could be due to the failing MAF sensor causing too much fuel to be delivered to the engine. Number 6. Black smoke from the exhaust pipe. Black smoke is pretty obvious and impossible to ignore, and can be caused by an imbalance of too much fuel and not enough air. This means that your car is running rich, and will often accompany poor fuel economy and rough idling. So. Why is your MAF sensor messing up? Causes of a faulty MAF sensor Number 1. Contamination, clogging A common reason why MAF sensors fail is because they just get dirty. With the air and debris that often come in contact with them, they eventually become so dirty that they aren't able to work properly. This can happen as early or as often as every 18,000 to 25,000 miles. Number 2. Contact failure at electrical connections. For many reasons, the MAF sensor may become dislodged or lose connection to the other parts of the fuel injection system. This leads to a malfunction where the ECM can't communicate with the MAF sensor. Number 3. Damage. Like anything, and everything else in the car, sometimes the MAF sensor just breaks or becomes damaged. This may be due to an accident or other issue with the engine. How to fix a faulty mass airflow sensor Number 1. Check the connections. Since cars get jostled around, the problem could be as simple as a lost connection to make sure there is a good fit and that it is making contact. Number 2. Clean the MAF sensor. Sometimes, the MAF sensor just needs a deep cleaning to get debris and oil vapors off. You can do this by carefully removing the MAF sensor, being careful not to touch the wires and they are delicate and damaging them could mean having to purchase a replacement. Once you have successfully removed it, you can simply place it in a bag filled with alcohol and slosh it around a bit to make sure all of the parts get cleaned. You could also buy a special cleaner from the auto parts store, though rubbing alcohol should do the trick. Allow it to dry for at least 20 minutes, then carefully place it back in the vehicle. Number 3. Replacement. Unfortunately, sometimes you just need a new MAF sensor. 
If you are able to replace it yourself, you could pay as little as $10, but if you take it to the mechanic, you may end up spending up to around $300. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to our channel and leave your comments below. Thanks for watching.